What is good in the hood? We back with more SPL anti versus all cons. And he's in playing an Oris this week. So we will have a lot of Oris and Sentiment OU coming this SPL Sunday. We see Venusaur plus Tita, so which is a bit odd in this scenario because in this situation I feel like because he has a Clefable and an Excadrill to check Lattice or to switch into Lattice potentially. So I don't really know why I need to Tita to remove Lattice, but I guess no, 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 no the Tita makes sense because it gives the, the Excadrill sandwich support. So we see Knockoff and Rocks Clef, which is super common. I don't know why people still spam it after Sableye is banned. I really don't know. But yeah, I think I have to go a bit more away from my microphone because my last recording my voice was a bit like weird. But this is just because I change between recording programs and when I use OBS and I'm near to my mic I'm super loud and when I use a different program like Camtasia, when I go far away I'm, I have to go like super close to my mic if I use Camtasia. He has Leash Sheet Venus, so I don't know why Leash Sheet is like a fable. He worked at a switch into Lari, I guess, and Leash Sheet it again. Elkans just said, I don't care, I'm leech seeding. I'm leech seeding until you sludge bomb, and now he sludge bombs him, and that does a lot. So I don't know what Elkans is doing here. That didn't work out, his Clefable just lost a lot of health. And Anti makes a nice play. He reads the switch, gets the leech seed off. P2 says, why does Venus so just win this game? Let's have off HP5, he has FP5, so the bishop gets critted. I don't know if the crit mattered, because it probably mattered, but he had Legacy on the thing. But I think bishop might have lived that, and he could have gotten a huge iron hit and knockoff on something, so that might have been a 50 50. Not really 50 50, he would have just gotten a huge knockoff off on something, I think. I mean, the Clefable switch is potentially... Oh, uh, the TTR the Clefable switch is kind of obvious. Clefable's at 100, okay, I thought it took some damage. So he makes a slow roll play, scouting for a potential... Maybe for a trick, or not running his Clef to get tricked. Actually, his Clef already got knocked off, but yeah. Not too sure why he made the slow roll play. And now he's gonna go Clef scouting for Draco. I mean, he will have his reasons why he made this play. So let me see how Alcans can even win this match. Clefable gets checked by not only Venusaur, also gets beat down by the Excadrill. So I don't see the Clefable doing that much for Alcans. The Landers just lost its scarf. Landers wasn't winning this game anyway. What was walled by Slowbro and Venusaur? I mean. I don't see how Alcans really can win, honestly. Manectric doesn't beat Venusaur either. I mean, he got the he got the Clefable a bit low, but of course, my kill for me. So yeah, I think he's the Balloon X drill because he went hard into drill on the Landorus. Nice play. And now you can just fire off an Iron Head, or you can just Rapid Spin here, honestly. Just get the rocks off for his Venusaur and just for the rest of his team. Okay, went for head, that's fine. Gets a Toxic off on the Rotom Wash, which is nice. As little counts went for a Volt Switch. This game is over. This game is over. Destruction. He's gonna go slow, bro. Oh, Volt Switch this again. Gets a crit, which shouldn't matter in the long run. I don't even know if U turn kills. Of course, might kill from this range. Doesn't Slowball live this? So Ladi Ladios is the only thing that can like do Nah, even Ladios cannot win this game, there's a Tita which Like if it's HP fighting the Ladi maybe beats the Tita 1v1, but there's like so much more in the back that checks the Ladi. So it just sucks off the clef, so we don't see a 6-0, but it's fine. Like the Alcans just has offense that I mean the crit on Bishop sucked obviously would have gotten more damage off on Anti's team. 
But it just seems like Andy has an answer for almost everything. Oh, uh, now nah, he has an answer for everything, not almost everything. So maybe he doesn't have rapid spin on drills since he showed Arnett and Toxic. And I think it's Defog on his Zapdos, which is what he wants to go for. Okay, he just goes for HPS, never mind. But since this Zapdos had. Pr does it have pressure? He didn't show pressure, so he's Static Zapdos. So he's Spin Drill and Static Zapdos. Okay. Okay, I didn't say anything. This doesn't have Defog. It would have shown pressure if it would have. Like, if it. Wants to have defog, it has to have pressure, so it cannot be defog since it didn't show that. Alkans gets another kill, but the worm takes poison damage and rocks, and and he just gets momentum. Yeah, like he can go Venusaur and just click Giga Drain. I guess the score is the same, but I feel like Andy has the momentum. Like, like he been had the momentum. He had the momentum the entire time, in my opinion. So he sludge bombs there, maybe he doesn't have Giga Drain, his Leech Seed, Sludge Bomb, HP Fire and Synthesis probably, yeah, I think he doesn't have Giga Drain, but the roll was poisoned, so this is not a winning game for Alcans. I don't know why he's not going for will -O wisp he could have gone for will -O wisp at least, but now he just lost his Rotom, I could have gone Hard Laddie on a Pain Spell on a Synthesis, I mean, I don't think it matters honestly, I feel like Andy just wins this game because he always has one. He, like, he always has one sec more. Now he sacks off the slow bro, so he doesn't take any damage on Cheetah. He can just pursuit or crunch here, whatever he has. Ice Beam pursuit crunch. Yeah, pursuit to the laddie. And I feel like now Elkans has to go clef, yeah. And like he can go. F like what does he even do here? He has to like flame through and catch the drill on the switch. But even then he doesn't win because there's still a Venusaur. So yeah. Like, Alcans just doesn't have a win condition at this point. You just click Iron here. If you're anti, this does a lot. Gets the flinch. I don't think it matters. Like, he only had knockoff, right? He didn't even have flamethrower. Yeah, right. What am I talking about? <laughs> but I was talking about potential flamethrower. But he obviously already showed his move set. As this was a fast one. I like fast-paced games. Anti wins for the... For the Raiders, I'm pretty sure they already made playoffs, and I think the classiest, which is Alcan's team, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think he's on the classiest. They cannot make playoffs anyway, but let me just look at the score. It's two and one before this match, so it's three and one, and now, yeah, and D versus Alcan's, and we see the door was John Yu, and Riscavis was Zomic later. DDK was Advantage. It's gonna be interesting. Rescarvis is 7-0 at the moment, it will be interesting to see if his streak goes on or if he can be stopped by Zomok. I thank you guys for watching, I will keep this short as we will have a lot of content. I mean I will probably upload this over the next days, so you guys already know if you're subbed to me how I do it. Stay tuned for more SPLPs out friends.